Another episode and a slightly different field today on targets. Um, we took a view to maybe have a look at the pattern plate. Now, I thought this could be helpful for A, people that don't know what the pattern plate is and its use and purpose. Uh, B, if you're you know pro using the plate. Or C, if you actually see it as no use at all. Um, and there is, uh, you know, a sort of a, a mixed bag on opinion uh, on said thing. So, what did I do today? We shot the pattern plate with my Beretta 686S. Uh, it's a bit of a vintage, well, vintage, it's, you know, over 25 years old. Um, and as with most of our films that we do, we use whole 21 gram fiber sevens, seven and a half actually, be precise. Uh, and I thought it'd be interesting just to see how they behaved and we could relay some information and then maybe talk through the pros and cons. Now, for those that don't know, a pattern plate, it is literally a plate, a big steel plate normally, that one shoots a gun at from different distances, okay? Um, for skeet, 20 yards, sporting, 30 to 40 yards, game shooting 40 yards on. You can make it up as you go along depending on what you're trying to find out and what you want to achieve. But in essence, it's shooting a shotgun at a plate and then once you've shot, you can see the pattern of the lead shot where it's imprinted, okay? Now, the more traditional uh, sort of version, you may have seen this at some schools, it's a big metal plate with a trough of whitewash and a, and a brush. And you literally whitewash the plate, shoot it, have a look, yeah, whitewash it again and ditto and so on. Um, but sometimes it's nice to use one of these, which is a purpose-made card pattern plate that you can keep maybe as a record, you know, or to show a client or a group of people if doing ballistic tests. It's just a slightly more user-friendly um, method. So, um, purposes for uh, would be to pattern a gun and that's to see how a gun would behave with a certain cartridge, certain size of cartridge. The pattern plate is also used for gun fitting, okay? It's not the sole use uh, for gun fitting. Obviously you need to use targets as well to see how people behave and how they move, but it just plays a small part certainly within setting up cast and stock um, as a starter. Now this is where opinions start to break because some people um, don't see the point in shooting at a plate um, because it's not moving. And I guess, you know, to a degree that's a valid point. Um, also with the distances, it's very difficult to gauge how the patterns would change based on their energy, okay? faster cartridges, slower cartridges, that sort of thing. As you can probably tell, this can disappear off into a bit of an anorak uh, sort of entity. Um, like most of you, uh, I haven't got the time for that and nor do I have any interest in it. So mine is the basic overview, um, just to take the sort of most immediate, you know, readings from using a pattern plate. So we do use them for gun fit and we do use them for patterning guns in a simple version. Now, let's have a look at this board. This was shot at 25 yards just over with a 21 gram cartridge, seven and a half fiber, and it was shot through a half choke. So if I can just put this up in front of Jack, just to show you a bit more clearly, blimey, that's quite useful. <laughs> that was pure luck, by the way. Um, Okay, so you'll see here, obviously the centre, that's your focal point to stare at, not to aim at, to stare at. Obviously we don't aim a shotgun ever, so we're not looking at the bead. We're staring at that centrepiece, which, you know, best resembles a standard clay, 
look at it, mount the gun on it, bang. Now you can see, I don't know if Jack can pick this up, we might get a, another shot. Um, but you can see this is pretty atypical. Um, we've got a sort of a, look at this centre line left to right, we've got a sort of a, you know, a 60% sort of density at the top. Slightly lighter, which would probably be 40 at the bottom. Um, so it's fractionally high, that, that's pretty cool. Uh, and also we've got an even spread left to right. I'd say this was fractionally more left than right, but that could have been down to me pulling, pulling the gun slightly, don't know. Um, and we've got a denser center, you know, thinning out as the pattern expands. Um, for me, this is a great pattern for that choke, for that cartridge. I mean, this tells me quite a lot. Um, you know, mounts working, gun fits. Um, it's a nice, steady shot. Now, what can happen, and this again is the grey area, um, if you were patterning a gun, so let's say you're trying different brands of cartridges through your favourite gun, your gun that you use all the time, um, they do behave differently but it's, it's, it's sort of deciphering whether it's the cartridge or the user. And that's where we have to be really careful. So of course, like all shooting, we need to be absolutely on point with mount. It needs to be absolutely precise. It needs to be committed, it needs to be really solid. A slight snatch, a flinch, a pull, a, a lift of the head, it's gonna throw the shot offline. Um, and that could then give, you know, an unfair representation of said brand of cartridge. Um, if that's all in place and all is good, yes, there can sometimes be some differentials. You may find one brand is slightly higher than others. Um, I've never really known of stuff going left and right as such. You might get the odd dud that misbehaves. But really, as with all this sort of shooting stuff, it's about feel, yeah? It's about what feels right for you. Um, you know, let's face it, if you were looking for a 28 gram, seven, seven and a half or eight, um, why are there so many different choices? You know, surely they're all exactly the same, aren't they? But I don't think they are. Um, they all differ. And like all shotgun shooting, once we've learnt the basics this end, it all comes down to feel and psychology. Um, I would argue if I patterned a gun uh, with said cartridge and I got some nice straight even patterns that would give me you know some confidence in knowing what the gun's doing when I'm shooting um, at clays or you know out in the field um, but of course these are going to behave slightly differently when the gun's moving because obviously we're not shooting at static targets so uh, pattern plates for me for patterning a gun cartridges I think it's just a, it's like an intro it's like a starter it just gives you an initial feel I think from 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 making a choice on this I would then go out shoot different targets and then make my mind up and if of course there was any doubt then someone can you know change brands and follow the same process um, like I said earlier distances chokes you know if you're shooting stuff at much longer distance you can change your chokes you can pull back from this it's just to give that sort of that basic reading that basic understanding um, of how your gun you know is behaving with a certain cartridge the gun fitting aspect um, well again someone needs to be totally proficient in their mount or certainly comfortable and there's no real set time for that everybody's different um, it would be used then to maybe initially set up the stock of a tri gun the comb just as a starter but of course from there then one goes out onto the ground shoots different targets and that's where the real fine adjustments start so it's not the be all and end all um, but it's just a, a a great one to you know to get off the ground so to speak as I said earlier, there are people that are, you know, really not interested in pattern plates at all. They don't feel that they do anything. Again, you know, everyone to their own. Um, I'd say if you don't know, go and try it. 
Um, but if you've, you know, picked up enough from, from colleagues and friends and you feel you've got a pattern in your head that they really are, you know, of no value, then obviously, you know, don't go there. Um, but just in summary, and certainly for, for people that are coming into shooting, you know, people that have never shot a pattern plate, which, who, who, but, but, but may give it a try, you know, sort of inquisitive, curious. Um, I think it's a really nice, simple entry level tester just to, you know, check fit, check gun behavior. And if you were at a sort of a crossroads with cartridge choice, a friend shoots a certain brand and size and, you know, you've tried a couple and they feel nice, so as simple as that then, um, you know, book in, you know, at a school or a ground and go and have a try. W what I would say is that uh, probably not just to shoot a pattern plate on your own. And I don't mean that for safety. Obviously, we're all safe all the time. But I would have someone with you that can monitor what you're doing to make sure that this end is all, you know, solid. So that, as I said earlier, the pattern that you're creating, that, you know, that pattern plate is a true representation of the cartridges and the hardware you're using. And not that you've got some sort of misreading because of a, you know, a slight fail, for want of a better term, this end. Um, again, a nice little scratch of the surface on a, you know, an aspect of shotgun shooting. Um, give it a try or totally ignore it, but I think it's good. So there you go, pattern plates on targets. See you next time. Thank you.